and then they should execute this, this script. So here you can see the site is being creating 2.45 gigahertz SSID are being created. The AP is now claimed to the organization. The survey AP has been assigned, so I'm provisioning an AP. And then here you can see that the 2.4 radio is configured on channel uh, 6 with TX power 8. And then 5 gigahertz channel is configured on 48 uh, with a power of 14 dBm. Hi guys, Francois here from Symphio Networks. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can use the script that I created to configure uh, a missed access point to use as an you know, AP on the stick uh, AP. So what the script does is it, um, you know, it configures a new site that you'll be using for your AP on the stick survey. Then it configures two SSID, one SSID for the 2.4 frequency band, another one for the 5 gigahertz frequency band. Uh, and then it claims the AP, if the AP has never been claimed before, if it's just an AP out of the box, uh, the script will claim the AP to your organization and then it will provision the AP into the new site that we just created for the AP on the stick work, right? And then after that, it will configure the radio settings of this AP so the channel and transmit power, uh, so the AP can be pretty much ready to use for the site survey. So the last thing we need to do, and uh, that's specific to MIST, is that we have to make sure that the configuration will stay on the AP, even if the AP doesn't have connectivity to uh, the cloud, because you know when you go on site and you, you go and do your AP on the stick, that AP will not have connect connectivity to internet. It will just be connected to a PoE battery, uh, and it still have to be working and, and broadcasting those to SSID for our survey. Okay, so in this video, I will go over how we can actually use the script. So I'll show you how we can actually download it from GitHub, uh, get, your, uh, get your environment ready on your computer and execute the script to configure the AP. And I have an AP right here next to me. So I'll be able to even show you, showcase it to you uh, and we'll see how long it takes to get everything ready, right? So the first thing I do is I take this AP and I connect it to internet. So uh, I have the AP right here and then I have uh, uh, ethernet cable that gives me, you know, PoE and internet connection, right? So I'll go ahead and, and, and connect that to connect the AP. I'll try to show it to you here. So they are connected to the PoE port of the AP right here. Right, and then I'll let the AP boot, uh, and you'll see the LED here will circle through different colors. The AP will boot, the AP will try to communicate to the uh, cloud, and then when everything is good, we should see a green light, and you'll see that it's, it's pretty fast. It takes like a few seconds to happen. You'll see it right next to it, I have a Puri battery. So I'll keep it for uh, later on when the AP will be configured and ready to go. We'll connect the AP to the PoE battery and see if we can still see the survey society. So as you can see here, the LED is green. So we are ready to go and uh, we can go and start the process. All right. So the next step would be to actually go and, con uh, and download the, uh, the script uh, that we'll need to, to make it work. So so if I go to Internet, Exp uh, I have Google Chrome here. I put the link to my GitHub account where you can actually get the script for yourself. Uh, and you'll see it's under the setup AP on stick AP. Uh, you also have a wiki here uh, that you can go and, um, you know, check out if you want to know a little bit more details on, on uh, how to use the script. But what, what you have in the wiki is pretty much everything I'm going to tell you in this video. So it's just uh, going to be an add-on of some information if you want to refer to uh, that information back uh, in, the, in the future or send it to some people. So if I go back to the code here, I can see I have my setup AP on the stick uh, folder and here I have all the files that are necessary for this script to work properly. The main uh, file will be this one, the setup AP on the stick dot py and uh, the main script will be using the mist WLAN, mist uh, site and mist AP which are you know, some module I've created to that will be, you know, used in this uh, specific script. Okay, so how do we use this script? So you go back to the mist, uh, Symphio mist, and then here you have this clone and don download button. So I'm going to click on this uh, and then I'm going to use a download uh, feature. So I will download the zip. And once the zip is downloaded, 
uh, what I'll do is I'll go back here, I'll open the folder, uh, I'll go back to my downloads here, and I have it here, right? I actually have it twice because I, I did it, uh, downloaded it before. And then here I'm just gonna place it on the desktop, right? And I'm just gonna open it. And this is what I have, right? So I just downloaded pretty much the, all the files from the GitHub. Uh, and then I have this folder and this is the one we'll need to, um, to modify in order to be able to use the script. So readme, this is what I have. It's pretty much not, nothing much here. And the setup API on the stick AP, if I open it, I've, I see the same, uh, um, the same files that I had on the GitHub. Okay, now, if I want to use the script, um, what I have to do is I have to modify that config file. In that config file, we are going to give the script all the information we need, uh, we want to configure the site, the, the SSID, and the AP. Okay, so that's where we're gonna define uh, the different variable. So you'll see, I'll, I'll show you how we can do it. So what I can do here is I can actually copy paste the example. I'm going to rename rename the example into a config.json and I'm going to open this one so we can uh, modify it together. So I will use uh, Atom to, to do that. This is just the editor I use. Um, and so I'm just gonna close everything I don't need here. And so this is the, the file. Right, and as you can see, I provided an example uh, with the script, so all you have to do is pretty much change the value uh, of those keys. So first, I need to go and get my org ID. All right, so I have this. Uh, then I need to specify the token. So the token is what you need um, to actually be authorized to request or to send APIs to the MIST system, right? So I'm going to go and get my token. So token is something that's private because it authorizes yourself. The one I have here, I'm just using it for this demo. It's, not, it's gonna be invalid after this demo. Um, so you guys can see. And then after that, here I can specify the name that I want for my new site, the site that I'll be just using for the API on the stick. Um, and then you have, when you create a site, you have to specify a couple of parameters. So here I specify a couple of parameters. You could change that depending on where you want to do your, your survey. And then here I can specify my two, my 2.4 SSID. So I can give it a name, specify on which channel I want to put the AP, uh, the transfer power here, the transfer power is expressed in DBM. Uh, and then here, same for the five gigahertz, five gigahertz. You can also specify the bandwidth. Right, so here I'm just gonna you know, simply configure it on channel 48, bandwidth of 20 megahertz for a 14 dBm transmit power, okay? And then for the AP, here I have to specify the MAC address of the AP I'm using, right? So it, this, the MAC address will be right at the, uh, you know, on the, um, on the back of the AP, I have a sticker with the MAC address. So I'm just gonna go and get that MAC address. You can just put all the digits, uh, no columns, no um, dashes, you can just put all the digits one after the other. That's how MIST interpret MAC addresses, okay? Uh, then you can change the name. I just, I'm just gonna use survey AP here. Uh, and then you have to put the claim code if the AP wasn't claimed to your organization yet. Uh, so your claim code, same, you can get it from you know, the AP itself. Uh, you're gonna have a sticker at the back of the AP and you can get the claim code, right? Same thing, claim code is something that's, um, that's private. So that's why I'm not gonna show it to you here but that's gonna be necessary if you want to claim the AP, okay? And once you're done here, you can just save this file and you're pretty much ready to go and you're ready to execute the script, okay? So how do you execute the script? So I'm just gonna launch a terminal here. I use iTerm2 personally. Uh, and here I'm going to navigate to my desktop and I should have this Semfio Mist Master, right? And in, in this folder, I will have the setup AP on a stick AP. So I can um, move to that directory. And here you'll see that I have access to my Python script and I have accept to, access to my uh, config.json, okay? Now the way you execute the script is actually very simple since all the configurations are inside the configuration files. All you have to do is use Python. So on my computer here, I have Python 8, 3.8 that I want to use. So I just use Python, the Python common. And then I use the name of the script, so setup api.py, and then you, as an argument, you just put your config file, right? So config.json, right? And here I execute the script. So here it fails, right? And I wanted to show you this 
uh, on purpose because if you just have a brand new version of Python installed on your, on your computer without any additional uh, modules, you'll see that you will actually need to install the request module uh, to make this work. And this is because in order to make an API call to the MISH dashboard, we need the, this request module or I use that request module in my script, okay? So a way to go around that is to use virtual environments. And I actually did a video on how to create your own virtual environment and you can find it. I'll put a link in this video so you can go back and find it. But here's a good example of why you would want to set up a virtual environment, right? So you can actually install the module that you need to run that script, okay? How do you run a virtual environment? It's very easy. Uh, you just select the Python you want. So for me, it would be Python 3.8, and then you do minus M, virtual environment, and then you, you give the name of a virtual environment you want. I'm just gonna call it um, Python 3.8 uh, mist, right? So this will create a virtual environment and then what you have to do is you have to activate that virtual environment. And to do that, you use a source command source and then you go to Python mist uh, bin activate and this will activate your virtual environment. Now I'm inside the virtual environment and the version of Python I'm using, guess what? It's gonna be Python 3.8, okay? So now if I, if I try to rerun the script again, I can just use Python and this will just defer to Python 3.8 and then I can just you know try to uh, relaunch the script. I should get the same error, right? Config file. But now I can uh, I can actually install the request module right here. So I can do a pip install requests and this will install the request module in that specific environment and after that I should be I should be able to relaunch the script same way Python the name of the script and the config file, right? And then this should execute this, this script. So here you can see the site is being creating 2.4, 5 gigahertz SSID are being created. The AP is now claimed to the organization. The survey AP has been assigned, so I'm provisioning an AP. And then here you can see that the 2.4 radio is configured on channel uh, six with sticks power eight. And then five gigahertz channel is configured on 48 uh, with a power of 14 dBm. Okay, and that's it. It took 6.5 seconds. That's if the AP is brand new out of the box and you have to claim uh, provision configure it, right? 6.5 seconds and everything is good, okay? Now if I go back to my dashboard and I tr we try to see what's up here, if I go back to my dashboard, I can go back to organization and uh, site. And here you'll see that I have my new site, uh, uh, AP on the sticks and fuel. So I have it right here. And if I go to um, monitor, I'm gonna actually go to that specific site, APNSX site. And then if I go to APs, I will see that I have my AP here. So right now it's disconnected because it takes a little bit, a little bit of time to uh, come back. So here it's already green, so it should be coming back pretty soon. And then if I go to the networks, WLANs, here you'll see that I have my two uh, uh, network survey 2.4 and survey 5. So now I go back to access points, you see now it's up and running. I can actually see that it's using the proper, you know, transmit power and, and the proper uh, channels. And then if I go, go to Wi-Fi Explorer, I just open a scanner, I filter and survey. And here I can see my two survey SSID, right? 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, right? And that's it. We're ready to go. We've configured everything. The API has been assigned. Uh, we configured the, the channels we wanted and now we're ready to go. So now you can unplug the API, put it in your bag. When you arrive on site, you connect it to a PoE plus battery and you're ready to go, okay? Let me show you something else. Let's say the API is already configured, but you want to change you know, which channels it's using. So what you can do is you can go back to the script here. I'm going, I'm going to go back to the config files and I'm going to modify the configuration file, right? And we'll modify, we'll say that, you know, we want the 2.4 channels to be one. Um, and then we want the transmit power to be, uh, let's say 10. And here we'll change the channels to 36, right? And we'll change the transmit power to 10 as well. Okay. Now I can go back to my script, right? and I can execute it again. 
okay? And so here you'll see it will execute it again, but it will check if those the sites and uh, if everything already exists. And if it already exists, it's just gonna go and retrieve those ID. So it's not gonna recreate a new site and a new SSID every time. It's going to check if it's already there. If it's already there, it just goes and, and, and only modify those radio settings, okay? So here, this is what you see in the output. It's telling you those sites already exit, uh, exist, the AP is already claimed, and then now it just modifies the transmit power. So if I go back to the dashboard, right? Here you can see that the five gigahertz is already changed. The 2.4 is not yet changed. So you can see the 2.4 radios, uh, the five gigahertz radios uh, changed the 2.4 not yet, okay? It's probably gonna happen pretty fast. So here, um, uh, we also made the configuration permanent. So even if the AP doesn't have connection to, inter to the internet, like I was saying earlier, you're still gonna be able to use it and broadcast those SSID, okay? So let's try that, okay? So I'm going to uh, take the iPad again. So here, I'm going to unplug the AP from my local network here. So I'll unplug this one. And then I will connect it to my uh, PoE battery that I have here. This is a vent volt. PoE plus, so I'll just turn it on. Uh, I think I'm pretty good on battery. And you see it has an a a AT uh, output port, so I'll, I'm just gonna connect the ethernet cable to that. And then I will connect the AP to it. So same port. Just as, and I'm trying to simulate the fact that I'll, I'll be putting the AP on the tripod, not connected to the internet, so not connected to the dashboard, right? And what I'm expecting is to just have the AP still broadcasting my, my SSID. So I will wait for this AP to, to boot up. It shouldn't be too, too long. Okay, so this is what we're expecting to see. We're expecting to see now the LED flashing, right? And this is normal, it's because we don't have access to the cloud. So let's see if we can actually see the SSID. So here I'm from my iPad and you can see that I can see the 2.4 and five gigahertz SSID. So everything is working as expected and it's broadcasting those SSIDs. We have what we wanted to, uh, we configured the AP for the AP on the stick, uh, you know, between configuring and configuring the config or changing the configuration files and executing the script, it's gonna take you maybe a minute. So it's super fast uh, and you can take an AP out of the box and get ready in you know, less than five minutes. Okay, so let, let, me, let me know if this uh, script is useful to you guys. If you like the video, give it a like. Uh, if you uh, like the content, uh, you know, consider subscri subscribing to the channel. Uh, I'll be releasing more videos related to uh, the same type of work here related to MIST and, and APIs. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.